Can you make a video explaining hell? What does eternal torment mean? Is it literal or figurative fire? Okay, well, let's talk about that. So first off, we're going to avoid the word hell. <laughs> uh, I've actually figured out there is a, quite a bit of debate on whether hell it refers to Hades, the temporary place, or the lake of fire, the permanent place. But let me kind of explain the whole thing without using that term. So we are kind of given a glimpse into what the afterlife looked like before the resurrection of Christ. The land of the dead, the Hebrews called Sheol, and the Greek equivalent is Hades. So in that chapter, Jesus gives us the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. He explains that there are two sections and there's a big gulf in between. No, not that kind of gulf. Yes, that kind of gulf. <laughs> so one side is a place of rest and comfort known as Abraham's bosom. We know that after the resurrection of Christ, at some point the people in Abraham's bosom were emptied out and sent up to heaven because Paul makes it very clear that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. On the other side is where people are in torment awaiting judgment. We know that they will be emptied out and face judgment according to Revelation. So where do they go? They go into a place called the Lake of Fire. Now the Lake of Fire is the fire that is talked about. A lot of people do think it is figurative, but there's nothing in the Bible that actually indicates that it is a symbolic. You could point to the fire in Revelation, since there's a lot of symbolism in there, and say, hey, that's, that's figurative. But Jesus talked about it plainly. He talked about fire more than once. He talked about worms, all while talking about things very literally. There's no indication in any of those passages that anything of it was figurative. Now, being that it's the spiritual realm, and not the physical realm, is it a different kind of fire? Are they different kind of worms? Sure, I'll, I'll listen to that. But until Jesus said, hey, um, that, I was just speaking figuratively, I'm not gonna put doubt on that. And I really don't plan on finding out firsthand. <laughs> so what about the lake of fire? Is it forever? There's a lot of people that teach something called annihilation. This is based off philosophy and a misinterpretation of this verse. It does say destroyed in hell. Sure, but the word destruction doesn't mean obliteration. It just means that you are no longer what you were. You have calamity upon you. Revelation 14 makes it clear that any who go into the fire, their smoke goes up forever. And it do, it's not the smoke of the fire, it says the smoke of their torment goes up forever. So whether we like it or not, if you go to the place that is prepared for the devil and his angels, the lake of fire, then you get to share with their eternal situation. <laughs>